Blessings and peace, and welcome to Trinity Episcopal Church in Elk Ridge, Maryland. Um, my name is Brother Les Roberts. I'm sorry for um, being late this morning for morning prayer right too. Um, we will get started in just a minute. Um, just a couple of announcements first is um, we will continue having morning prayer during Holy Week um, tomorrow morning um, with Chris Paul, and then on Monday, Thursday at 7 p.m. at Trinity um, in Elk Ridge, we will have the stripping of the altar. And then on Good Friday, we'll have a noonday service um, and, at 7 p.m. and 7 p.m. Um, at the church for Good Friday services. And then on Easter Sunday, we'll have an 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. worship services. So I um, hope to see you there. Get started in just one minute. Um, the mor morning prayer right too will come from the Book of Common Prayer. And if you don't have one handy, you can go to bcponline.org. And we'll get started in just one second on page, the top of page 77. It is nothing to you all who pass by. Look and see if there's any sorrow like my sorrow, which was brought upon me, whom the Lord has afflicted. Continuing to page 79. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed. By what you have done, and by what you have left undone. We have not loved you with your whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways, to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in the eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, or will be forever. Amen. This morning we will read the Jubilate on page 82. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us, and we are his. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgivings. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. Come, let us adore him. This morning's psalm, or psalms, psalm 6 and 12, um, which can be found on page 89 for the first one, um, 589, yeah. Six on page 589. Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger. Do not punish me in your wrath. Have pity on me, O Lord, for I am weak. Heal me, Lord, for my bones are racked. My spirit shakes with terror. How long, O Lord, how long? Turn, O Lord, and deliver me. Save me for your mercy's sake. For in death no one remembers you. And who will give you thanks in the grave. I grow weary because of my groaning. 
Every night I drench my bed and flood my couch with tears. My eyes are wasted with grief and worn away because of all my enemies. Depart from me, all evil evildoers, for the Lord has heard the sound of my weeping. The Lord has heard my supplication. The Lord accepts my prayers. All my enemies shall be confounded and quake with fear. They shall turn back and suddenly be put to shame. Our second psalm is Psalm 12, and it is on page 597. Help me, Lord, for there is no God godly one left. The faithful have vanished from among us. Everyone speaks falsely with his neighbor, with a smooth tongue that speak from a double heart. Oh, that the Lord would cut off all smooth tongues and close the lips that utter proud boasts. Those who say, with our tongue will we prevail, our lips are our own. Who is Lord over us? Because the needy are oppressed and the poor cry out in misery, I will rise up, says the Lord, and give them the help they long for. The words of the Lord are pure words, like silver refined from ore, and purified seven times in the, in the fire. O Lord, watch over us, and save us from this generation forever. The wicked prowl on every side, and that which is worthless is highly prized by everyone. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our first reading today comes from Lamentations. A reading from Lamentations. Zion stretches out her hands, but there is no one to comfort her. The Lord has commanded against Jacob that his neighbors should become his foes. Jerusalem has become a filthy thing among them. The Lord is in the right, for I have rebelled against his word. But hear all you peoples, and behold my suffering. My young women and young men have gone into captivity. I called to my lovers, but they deceived me. My priests and elders perished in the city while seeking food to revive their strength. See, O Lord, how distressed I am. My stomach churns. My heart is wrung within me, because I have been very rebellious. In the street the sword bereaves. In the house it is like death. They heard how I was groaning, with no one to comfort me. All my enemies heard of my trouble. They are glad that you have done it. Bring on the day you have announced, and let them be as I am, and deal with them as you have dealt with me, because of all my transgressions, for my groans are many, and my heart is faint. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our first canticle this morning is Canticle 13, um, which can be found on page 90. It's a song of praise. Glory to you, Lord God of our fathers. You are worthy of praise. Glory to you. Glory to you for the radiance of your holy name. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you in the splendor of your temple, on the throne of your majesty. Glory to you. Glory to you seated between the cherubim. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you beholding the depths in the high vault of heaven, glory to you. Glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Mm -hmm. The second reading this morning is from Mark. A reading from Mark. Again they came to Jerusalem. As he was walking in the temple, the chief priests, the scribes, and the elders came to him and said, by what authority are you doing these things? Who gave you this authority to do them? Jesus said to them, I will ask you one question. Answer me, and I will tell you by what authority I do these things. Did the baptism of John come from heaven, 
or was it of human origin? Answer me. They argued with one another. If we say from heaven, he will say, why then did you not believe him? But shall we say of human origin, they, they were afraid of the crown, for all regarded John as truly a prophet. So they answered Jesus, we do not know. And Jesus said to them, neither will I tell you by what authority I am doing these things. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our second canticle is Canticle 18, and it can be found on the bottom of page 93. Splendor and honor and kingly power are yours by right, O Lord our God. For you created everything that is, and by your will they were created and have their being. And yours by right, O Lamb that was slain. For with your blood you have redeemed for God, from every family, language, people, and nation, a kingdom of priests to serve our God. And so to him who sits upon the throne, and to Christ the Lamb, be worship and praise, dominion and splendor, forever and forever, evermore. <clears throat> Continuing on page 96, we'll recite the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, <coughs> the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Continuing on page 97, the Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> From suffrages A, show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. And let your way be known upon earth your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. A colic for Tuesday in Holy Week. O God, by the passion of your blessed Son, you made an instrument of shameful death to be for us the means of life. Grant us so to glory in the cross of Christ that we may gladly suffer shame and loss for the sake of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Continuing on page 99, a colic for peace. O God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you is eternal and to serve you is perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries. Through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, an everlasting God, 
by whose spirit the whole body of the faithful people is governed and sanctified. Receive our supplications and prayers which we offer before you for all members of your holy church, that in their vocation and ministry that they may truly and devoutly serve you through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. At this time, I ask for your intercessions or prayers of thanksgiving, either silently or loud. And you may put them in the chat box. Like say a prayer for in times of conflict. O oh God, you have bound us together in a common life. Help us in the midst of our struggles for justice and truth to confront one another without hatred or bitterness and to work together with mutual forbearance and respect through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And I'd like to say a prayer for um, Baltimore and the Baltimore area. Heavenly Father, in your word, you've given us a vision of that holy city to which the nations of the world bring their glory. Behold and visit, we pray, the cities of the earth. Renew the ties of mutual regard from which form our civic life. Send us honest and able leaders. Enable us to eliminate poverty, prejudice, and oppression. And that peace may prevail with righteousness and justice with order. And that men and women from different cultures with differing talents may find with one another the fulfillment of their humanity. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I give to you, my own peace I leave with you. Regard not our sins, but the faith of your church, and give to us the peace and the unity of that heavenly city, where with the Father and the Holy Spirit you live and reign, now and forever. Amen. Returning back to page 101 will say the general thanksgiving almighty god father of all mercies we your unworthy servants give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you've made we bless you for our creation preservation and all the blessings of this life but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our lord jesus christ for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, thank you for joining me with um, morning prayer this morning. Um, I hope to see you at church this week um, and also online tomorrow for morning prayer as well. Um, God bless you and be, be with you. Amen.